Erica's Homemade Macaroni and Cheese Casserole Extravaganza. As with all of Erica's creations, preparation is the key. At this point, Erica has already boiled the macaroni noodles and seasoned them. Um, she's also added eggs, brown eggs that is, natural butter. She's grated two cheeses, um, cheddar cheeses, into the mixture. Um, and uh, she's added all kinds of seasonings. We'll show you that on a later video. Now she's ready to um, bake them. And she's getting ready to show us the lay the um, layering process. So here we go. Stay tuned. <laughs> you always do. And that's a mixture of cheeses. Mixture of cheeses, Colby Jack. It's a uh, Colby and Monterey Jack. I just like the way Colby and Monterey Jack make it taste when you're making homemade macaroni. And then I use a blend, like a casserole blend. I also use like a double cheddar in the mix mm -hmm. with my evaporated milk, my brown eggs. Brown eggs gives it a little bit more richer texture and flavor to me. And a little bit of natural butter. So that's the first layer. You do a nice little layer of cheese there because what you want to do is this first layer, when, when you cut into it, you want it to be nice and creamy. So I usually use a lot of cheese on the first layer. Then you top it off. And you spread that evenly. Make sure you got a nice even coat. As you guys know, I love even coats from layering. Layering is one of those things that you want to make sure that you get it nice and even. So you just spread and even that out. Make sure you get corner to corner. Cover it all the way to the ends. Okay, so that's a nice one more here. So it's nice and covered. And then you don't have to use as much cheese on this layer. You just want to give it a nice covering. And then you want to use your blend. Go right up, right around the edges. So you get the metal pretty good. So you want to hit those edges. And then you want to kind of go right in the middle. And then you want to do your last layer right on top. Make sure you get all your juices because you don't want your macaroni to be dry. So using all of your juices is very important. When you have a, a spatula, you can go around the edges of your pot just to make sure you get everything. Take my spatula and I just spread that. This one don't have to be. Uh oh. This one doesn't have to be all the way to the edge. You just want to put that right on top because it's not enough to cover the whole thing. So you just want to make sure you're getting it all the way in there. So I do a little pressing so you can see it's nice and juicy. Then you just want to sprinkle the last little bit of cheese that you have on top. And what that does is once you finish baking it. And this doesn't have to bake long because the macaroni noodles are already done. You just really want it to melt the cheeses all the way through. So you want to bake this maybe on 350 for about 25 minutes. And then you put this in the broiler because what happens is it's going to have that nice golden brown topping on it from when the broiler hits them cheeses. So you want to add a little bit of cheese on the top. And you can do your blend. We're going to soak up some of this juice on that side. I add a little cheese here in those areas that don't have any. And then we're going to throw this in the oven uncovered for about 20, 25 minutes at 350. 
and wait for the goodness.